Oh, I thought it was a great session. We keep saying West is best and the whole city will believe it sooner or later. And uh, it was a wonderful session. We had people from all over uh, West Philadelphia, Southwest, the third district, and uh, people had many varying points of view, but they were excited and energized to be able to say what they thought and what they saw in their communities and what they'd like to see to improve conditions in their neighborhoods. So it was a great session. Well, people on their corridors, they want uh, more variety in terms of what happens. They want inclusion, they want job training, they want education, they want youngsters trained better. They want to be prepared for the new workforce. They want academic and technical education. So those are just a few of the a few of their ideas, but it was phenomenal that so many people from so many varying backgrounds came out. Some who need employment, heads of community organizations, block captains, ministers, community groups, registered community organizations, RCOs. People from across the district all believed in their communities, and that was the thing that, that was through all. People love their neighborhoods. They want to stay in their neighborhoods, stay in their cities, and enjoy a, a great quality of life herein. So we talked about them. We talked about them from Haverford Avenue to Lancaster Avenue, 60th Street, 52nd Street, businesses, Haverford Avenue, across the district, Chester Avenue, so we have many, many commercial corridors. People think Market Street, Walnut Street, and Chestnut Street only, but we have a lot of neighborhood commercial corridors uh, that people uh, want to support. People want to be able to get up on a Saturday morning and go to their neighborhood store. They want to be able to have dinner in their neighborhood if they want to dress up Saturday night. They just want to enjoy their neighborhood as all people in this city and beyond have a right to. Many people might think life just happens. Your, your, all your recreation centers get fixed up, grass gets cut, and houses, uh, moderate in income as well as condos, just get built. No, we have to plan for development in our neighborhoods. We have to create partnerships with private institutions, our meds and eds, and just people who want to be involved. I represent more Africans and Caribbeans than anybody else uh, in city council. And we have to make sure that we make sure that they have an opportunity to participate. So whether it comes to schools, whether it comes to neighborhoods, housing and development, all of it takes planning and all of it takes partnerships with people who live in the area as well as those who want to invest.